Japan's new allies in a world growing more dangerous by the day. Japan made a choice, not to stand alone, but to rise with allies equally determined to shape the future of defense. Who are Japan's new allies and why? We will dive into deep analysis. Three nations from different continents with shared democratic values came together in 2022. To launch one of the most ambitious defense projects in modern history, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Italy for the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. GCAP is more than a fighter jet. It is a symbol of technological partnership and strategic foresight. A six-generation warplane designed to dominate airspace in the 2030s and beyond. But how? It will combine stealth, speed, and autonomy with an ISACA pilot in the cockpit. Loyal wingman drones flying alongside. Cloud-connected warfare spanning land, sea, air, and space. And unlike past defense projects built in isolation, GCAP is a true collaboration. Three nations, three industrial powerhouses. One shared mission, to secure the skies and shape the future. Why these allies? Why now? These nations share more than innovation. They share experience. They know the cost of war. They know the value of peace, backed by strength. And they all face the same new threats. An unpredictable China, a resurgent Russia, a volatile North Korea, and a global order under pressure. In this uncertain world, old alliances are not enough. So Japan looked beyond its traditional partnerships and found new strategic equals in Europe. The UK, with its deep expertise in aerospace and cyber defense. Italy, with its growing aerospace industry and strategic access to Europe and the Mediterranean, and Japan. With cutting-edge innovation, rapid militarization, and a frontline position in the Indo-Pacific. A true partnership, not just tech sharing. GCAP is an equal partnership, unlike past joint programs, where one nation leads and others follow. All three nations will design, build, test, and deploy the aircraft together. By 2035, the GCAP fighter will be ready for deployment. Its supply chain will stretch across continents, creating thousands of jobs, sharing data and technology, and strengthening defense industries in all three countries. From artificial intelligence, to radar absorbing materials, from drone integration, to data fusion, every element of GCAP reflects a shared vision of what warfare will look like and how free nations must respond. A signal to the world to rivals G SAP is a signal, a message. Japan is not isolated. Europe is not distracted. And democracies will not sit quietly while the world tilts toward authoritarian aggression. If it's a broader picture, where alliances stretch across oceans, where Japan partners with Australia and India, where the UK reorients to the Indo-Pacific, where Europe's defense is no longer limited to its own borders. The future of multinational. Defense GCAP is just the beginning. Japan's collaboration with the UK and Italy reflects a new model of defense, one that is fast, flexible, and based on trust. Not just treaties. In an age where technology decides the battlefield, where alliances are tested, and where deterrence is survival, GCAP proves that nations can come together. Not just to build a jet, but to build peace through power. Japan's future in the sky won't fly alone. It flies with allies. With vision. With resolve. This is GCAP. And the rising sun has found its wing. builders behind the jet, the Global Combat Air Program. CAP is one of the most advanced military aviation projects ever conceived. 
but behind its cutting-edge stealth, artificial intelligence, and drone coordination lies a remarkable collaboration, not just between nations, between the world's leading aerospace and defense giants. At the heart of Japan's contribution is Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. With decades of defense and engineering experience, Mitsubishi is the prime contractor and system. It's an integrator for the GCAP fighter. It's responsible for bringing every piece together. It's from fuselage to software, ensuring this jet performs as a seamless, intelligent combat platform. Across the globe, in the United Kingdom, Day Systems leads the development of stealth shaping, digital twin engineering, and AI decision-making systems. Their work allows the GCAP to disappear from enemy radar, while its onboard AI processes battlefield. Data faster than any human ever could. This isn't just about flying, it's about thinking. Reacting and winning in milliseconds. From Italy comes Leonardo, Europe's leader in advanced electronics. Leonardo is building the jet's radar systems, electronic warfare defenses, and optical targeting technology, giving the GCAP the ability to detect, jam, and neutralize threats across land, sea, air, and even space. Asterisk, a powerful fighter needs a powerful heart. That's where IHI of Japan and Rolls-Royce of the UK come in. Working side by side to create a next generation engine that's not only supersonic, but smart, lightweight, fuel efficient, high thrust, capable of powering extreme maneuvers and long range missions with E. Asterisk and beyond the hardware, Japan's tech titans, Fujitsu, Ni, and Toshiba, these digital giants are building the jet's brain and nervous system AI driven target recognition. Secure communications. Real-time data fusion from satellites, ships, and ground forces, all stored and analyzed in the cloud, enabling a network-centric warfare model unlike anything Japan has ever seen. This jet doesn't just fly, it commands. Leads robotic drone swarms, directs allied units, and adapts to the enemy's moves before they make them, together. These companies form a global brain trust, combining mechanical mastery with digital innovation. From Tokyo to London to Rome, engineers, pilots, AI experts, and defense planners are united by one vision, to create the most advanced air combat platform the world has ever seen. The GCAP isn't just a jet, it's a flying supercomputer, a multi-domain. Command centered a beacon of what's possible when the best minds from three nations come together. This is the future of air dominance. These are the builders behind. If you found this analysis informative, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps this channel grow. And if you want more deep dive geopolitical content like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. What do you think will happen next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective. Until next time, stay aware, stay informed, and keep questioning the headlines.